Hi Gemini, welcome to your mid-month readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences at this time. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. So, Gemini, I feel that you're dealing with um, during this mid-month with a little bit of an indecisive energy where some of you may have thought that some plans would be working out um, as you have planned or, ha or as you have expected and you may be dealing with, you know, uh, last-minute changes or changes on plans on general that are causing you some indecision or some questions about if you should uh, if you should keep pursuing those uh, plans and those horizons you were thrilled to discover or if you should um, stay where you are I feel that some of you are dealing with feeling a little bit restricted in your daily um, lives feeling that your life is all about work 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 or management dealing with practical issues, but questioning what's out there, you know, there's so much world to explore out there, why am I still here? So some of you are dealing with desire to explore, desire to fly, to discover new shores, and um, there's a little bit of a sense of a wanderlust here, but there's something restricting you, restricting you, which could be your own beliefs or your own lack of confidence or it could be for practical reasons as financial reasons or uh, strings that are keeping you again in this world or in this daily life that feels small. I feel that some of you want to have a bigger, wider concept of life and actually more than having the concept of it more than imagining it you want to live it you want to really experience what the big life can be and for that i feel that some of you will be considering some decisions or will be considering doing some uh research about the options that could make this desire to expand your life uh possible what could be the viable options out there for you I feel that some of you may be dealing with the loss of, um, I don't know if it is a loss of a part-time job or a loss of an extra source of income or a loss of something that has been, you know, keeping you in a very busy, 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 busy. For those who have a very busy type of life with two, three jobs or just doing a lot of things at the same time, you could be de dealing with a loss of some work or extra work um, and you could react to it in a negative way but I feel that this is happening as a way of the universe telling you to give you more room to give you more time more space to think about what in reality you want to do next or in reality uh, okay you are very busy but w what are you um, you know really getting from that or are you feeling fulfilled with that or is just busy out of uh, busy without you know a sense of productivity in terms of mental inspiration uh, and emotional um, happiness is it giving you that happiness or you're just um, you know a bee a working bee but you don't stop to smell the flowers you know is that type of energy that I feel here I mean, it doesn't mean that you will lose your job. I feel that for some of you who have more than you're supposed to right now, there may be uh, a loss of some sorts that is a gain. If you see it that way, if you choose to see it that way, if um, you actually understand that subconsciously, possibly you have been asking for that. You have been asking for time for yourself or for more time to write, more time to read, more time to research, more time to watch the TV shows that inspire you, more time to do whatever makes you happy. So if something happens like that it may seem as something negative, I feel that 
it is something that you have been asking for but of course that when it actually happens we fear the change we fear the adaptation we fear the consequences and the energy that I have here is that you will be okay uh, and I feel as well that some of you may actually by choice decide to uh, step away from something and you may need to have some type of like some type of documents or legalities, papers, agreements here made in order to um, in order to remove yourself from a situation that is not working, that it could be related with work or finances or anything in your daily life that is just not functionable, uh, you know, for your for the direction you want to take. Some of you are feeling a lack of direction. You're still here possibly with a lot of things around you with a lot of management needed very busy trying to find your footing in the in the present moment trying to make things work and not having again that time to breed or not having that time to clarify uh what you need to clarify inside of you because there's a little bit of a quest here for the, the, the next uh, step in your life and I feel that it requires some intellectual um, mental approach to it to clarify you know what are you going to do next some of you are I feel that some of you are just indecisive it's like you already have two options or you already have two uh, things you are considering but you don't know which one you should choose or if even if you choose if you choose if you should choose one if um you can make it work some of you are considering um leaving or staying again and this could be a relationship a job uh, or a place of residence some of you are just unsure really where you stand right now and being your main opportunity the ace of swords is talk it out communicate use the power of your mind to face challenges to face um you know criticism to face disapproval to face yourself and your fears use this because the crown is there for you you can win this battle whichever battle you are um dealing with and i also feel uh if there has been disagreements within relationships or work situations this is the time to really put things on the table and sort them out your advice is the two of the two of pentacles so keep your balance keep focusing on um, you know what are your real priorities right now is it work 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 is it money 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 is it procrastinating is it <laughs> what it is that you're putting your your energy daily into and how is that possibly creating the mess or the confusion you feel because usually we feel very confused or we feel very you know displeased or un un unaware of what we should do but in reality the way we are living the choices we, we are doing you know daily are creating that mess are creating that complete um confusional state so for example if you want to get your life straight if you want to organize your life in clear patterns and you keep having your the place you live in a complete mess you keep having a complete lack of care about those little details it will be a reflection on how you are able to clarify your mind you know those simple things there's nothing wrong with having um your room um or your house a mess nothing like that i'm just saying that it is a reflection as for example if you want to be free if you want to pursue a life that it's wild that it's bold that it's unpredictable but you keep living in a box or ve with very neat straight lines on how you should behave it will be it will be much harder to find that freedom to pursue your desire so there's a little bit of uh, measure here that it's needed between 
okay, what do you want and what you are actually doing in a concrete manner to meet what you want so you can find a better sense of purpose. I also feel that some of you may just be dealing with delays, delays in plans, delays in certainties that you you had before and now you're questioning, delays in travel itself or agreements, decisions, contracts, you know, legal information on some sorts. So I hope you have a great mid-month. Thank you so much for all of you who have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, uh, donating. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And hopefully we'll see each other soon.